Now let's take you live out to Miami International Airport. That's where we have our Hank Tester. And Hank, I was there yesterday. I was the crazy lady trying to fly back into Miami. Everybody was trying to get out. So what's it looking like there right now? Yeah, you could shoot a cannon through the place and uh, you wouldn't hit anybody. There's very few people inside. We spent about uh, 35, 40 minutes in there prior to going on the air trying to talk to some folks and uh, they just, uh, no, there was nobody there. They're having difficulty getting flights out. They, the passengers, are because they're sold out, uh, there's cancellations and of course the airlines are beginning to shuffle planes around and this is a uh, really a, a kind of a difficult uh, situation for folks. Uh, we understand that the last flight out might be about 9.30 tonight, uh, just exactly where that's going at. We haven't uh, determined, but we're going to uh, be back in there a little while later and uh, talk to uh, the public information officer from uh, the, the airport. I can tell you this, the chances of getting out of town now via air are probably absolutely zero. Now, people have wanted to evacuate. They wanted to fly out, get as far away from this hurricane as absolutely possible. But we talked to a guy that was wanting to get out and he got a flight to Dallas. Let's take a look. So you say you think you got a flight out. Tell me about this. Well, this was because we have people at American Airlines. Otherwise, it was going to be very, very difficult. But we had somebody at American that uh, got us a flight to Dallas. We just found out about it about two hours ago. And so we said, let's do it. Let's hit the road and do it. Now, are you evacuating out of Miami? Yeah. That's yeah. what you're doing, right? Of course, yes. Yeah, yeah. Okay, you think this thing's going to pound your house pretty badly? Then. I didn't want to believe it, but, you know, it was very scary, and you keep watching the news, and everybody is, you know, the, the, sur the storm surge is probably the biggest fear for me. My house is, uh, my condo's on the water, so, you know, it's very difficult to think about an eight foot or ten foot storm surge in my lobby you know yeah that's so, not good yeah, that's not gonna work so yeah I'm, I'm headed out so you shut it up you got your ticket you're, got it you're getting out of well, Miami the ticket that's the question the ticket is ahead hopefully the ticket will be there well, he's going to be on that flight to Dallas, uh, and we uh, talked to some other folks uh, trying to head out to Dallas. We'll uh, have that for you a little bit later on. Here, the situation here at this airport uh, is not unique because at Hartsfield, uh, Atlanta, same situation. It's a great hub airport to get 2,500 flights a day in and out of there, very similar to MIA here. You've got two major hub operations in the southeast affected by Irma. So what's that going to do to airline schedules? You know the drill, domino effect, one plane's late, can't get a crew, so on. That's been one of the problems here, too. We're also uh, told by some of the airlines is that they uh, have difficulty because the crews need rest because they have been flying uh, so much, getting uh, passengers uh, uh, in and around the country due to this situation. Now, we can tell you that uh, who's flying right now? Well, flights to Europe because they leave right about now, uh, fly overnight to the, uh, the Atlantic and uh, land in Europe uh, for tomorrow morning. Uh, they are functioning pretty decently. So if you've got that uh, ticket to uh, head on out, well, first of all, you should be at the airport by now to go through all the uh, uh, pre-flight uh, rigmarole that you have to if you're flying internationally. But also, uh, it looks like most of them are gonna make it and make it out on time. So once again, the takeaway from all this, darn tough to get out of Miami on an airplane. Commercial flights uh, probably will be uh, suspended uh, later tonight or tomorrow morning. The rule out here is 35 miles per hour for the commercial guys, uh, the passenger planes. They don't like to fly after that. Remember, the airport does not shut down. Uh, the the, the airport, airlines will, and uh, certainly will because of this uh, situation, but the airport does not shut down. Of course, that makes all the sense in the world uh, why this uh, place might be a, a kind of an ad hoc shelter for some folks. So we'll check that story out and uh, have more for you the next time you see us. That's the very latest. I'm Hank Tester, CBS4. Back to you.